What's up, Learn How Nation? In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five free blog sites. I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. We create video lessons and tutorials to help people learn how to use technology to improve their lifestyle. So if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing. I've been talking a lot lately, guys, about how to start a blog along with my new website, learnhowblogging.com. And I wanna talk a little bit about the top five free blog sites that you can use to start blogging for free today. And while I don't necessarily recommend using a free blog site if you are going to be blogging long term, these free blog sites are great for anyone who doesn't really want to spend money to blog or may not necessarily want their blog to turn into like a full time business. They just want to blog for fun, uh, share some experiences, uh, write mainly for friends and family, that sort of thing. So yeah, these free blogging platforms or websites are, are great places if that is something that you're interested in. So let's jump right into it. My first recommended free blog site would be wordpress.com. Now, for, this is for the sole reason that wordpress.com is very similar to wordpress.org, which I recommend for people who are interested in starting a blog. So with wordpress.com, you're gonna get a lot of the same functions and like layout as far as creating a post that you would get with a WordPress self-hosted website through uh, wordpress.org. Uh, there are some limitations, obviously, with using WordPress.com. There's not as many plugins available to use, um, and if there's not as many themes and a few other things as far as like using uh, Google AdSense and, and some of their limitations, which I talk about in, in my article uh, comparing all these five platforms. But it's, it's a great place uh, to really stay organized, um, and you can get actually quite a bit of traffic through the uh, WordPress community uh, when you start a free website on wordpress.com. Number two on my list would be Wix. Okay, so with a Wix website, their biggest strength, guys, is the drag and drop capabilities. So when you're designing a Wix website, you can literally drag and drop objects, uh, images and things on the screen and place them exactly where you want them and re resize them and change the text size and, and do all that sort of thing. So this is really nice if you if you want a lot of customization with your blog especially for a free blog this definitely gives you the most customization with a free blog but there are some some limitations as well with a, a, a free wix website uh i guess maybe not a limitation but a con would be that with all this customization drag and drop you can tend to overdo things and, and things tend to get a little cluttered and messy and unorganized and not in line and i'm totally ocd about that kind of stuff so when i see a website and the boxes aren't lined up and things are not sized the way they should be it drives me crazy uh so yeah with like a wordpress website with a set theme you can't really drag and drop things on the screen. They're kind of placed where they are, but it's set up to be placed where they are for a good reason because it's mobile optimized. So when you switch to mobile, it will automatically change everything. Whereas with a Wix website, you have to remember that if you edit the desktop version of your blog, you need to go in and edit the mobile version. Otherwise your mobile website is gonna look crazy bad. Uh, it's not gonna optimize quite the way it should. So that's just kind of another hassle with using a Wix website. But yeah, great for customization. Uh, you can do a lot of things with Wix. Number three for my free blogging platforms would be Blogger or Blogspot, which is owned by Google. This is a very, very popular free platform. And I know a lot of people who blog on Blogger blah, 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 with a, a paid domain. So like they'll go out there and buy a domain, www.cookingwithclaire.com, but use it with Blogger so they don't have to pay a monthly web hosting fee. Um, the nice thing about Blogger, guys, is that it's owned by Google. So if you're trying to you know, do well on Google search and that sort of thing, going the Blogger route might be a little bit better for you. I do know that a Blogger hasn't had as well of a organic reach as it had us in the past. That might be with some algorithm changes that have caused that. But there is a huge Blogger community within Blogspot. So I know a lot of people that do really well getting traffic um, based on the community, the Blogspot community. 
Um, so yeah, that's definitely a very popular option if you want a free blog. Not as many themes to choose from. You don't get the customization, but it's very straightforward. It's very simple. And another, I guess, positive with using Blogger is that you can still qualify for Google AdSense, even though it's a free platform. A lot of those other platforms that I'm talking about for free, you can't get ads on there. So you can't do Google AdSense. You can't earn ad revenue. Um, but with Blogger, you can. So once your, your blog gets enough traffic and you qualify, you can start putting some ads on your on your website and uh, start earning some money through that. Number four guys on my list would be Tumblr. Um, I should say, I guess that this isn't necessarily one to five as like most recommended and least recommended. Uh, this is just kind of like my five, top five, I guess in any order. Uh, but we'll go with number four would probably be Tumblr. Tumblr was a lot more popular probably what, six to 10 years ago. Uh, but nowadays it's not quite as popular. A big problem that I've seen with Tumblr is that it's kind of gotten spammed really hardcore. There's a ton of spammy blogs and crap on Tumblr. Um, so that's kind of something that I think deters a lot of people from using Tumblr is it's kind of got a bad name over recent years. Uh, but if you do want to go the Tumblr route, something that they do really well is for posting photos. So. If you want to, if you have a lot of photos with your blog, um, you're more of a fashion blogger, lifestyle, sharing a lot of photography, Tumblr might be a good platform for you because you can share a lot of photos very easily. You can also reblog articles on Tumblr. So it kind of works almost like Facebook where you can like share other people's blogs on your blog. So it can act like a personal blog slash Pinterest sort of idea where you can share other people's content on there as well. Number five on my top five uh, free blog platforms would be Medium. Now this is a newer platform that I've recently discovered. I don't know if it, how new technically it is, but one that I've recently discovered. What I really like about Medium guys is that it's very clean. It has a very clean feel to it, very professional design to it. It's very simplistic, easy to read the articles. Uh, you can kind of, you know, get featured on different categories and things like that, whether you're writing about lifestyle, fashion, food, whatever. Uh, you can get a little bit of traffic through the Medium community. Um, and I've seen a lot of actually really popular blogs online that have been run through Medium and they look very good, look very professional. Uh, so yeah, if, if you're looking into a free blog, I would definitely consider checking out Medium, at least just taking a look at it, kind of getting a feel for what it's like not quite as straightforward as using like blogger or wordpress.com but another option nonetheless so guys that wraps it up for my five free blog sites or platforms to consider if you want to blog for free to recap that would be wordpress.com wix blogger tumblr and medium so those five those five free blog sites check them out uh, on the website, learnhowblogging.com. I've got a, a article, a blog post about them so you can learn a little bit more about them as well. Um, and check them out and let me know what you think. If you are using one of those, leave a comment below and, and let us know what you think of the, of the platform so we can you know, get a feel for how it is, how you like it, maybe what you would do differently or what some of the features are. Because like I said, I've experimented and looked into all these, but I haven't really consistently blogged on any of these free blog platforms. So your advice will probably mean a lot more than mine. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, share it with a friend, and we'll see you in the next video.